Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, you guys, how's it rolling? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Let's talk about some things. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I will thoroughly confuse you for a good solid minute while I sew together a story. If you're coming back to the channel, come on in. You know exactly what to expect. Snuggle up to this table right here and let's talk about some things. As always, it's about you because of you and wouldn't be without you. Everybody subscribe because it makes me happy and it helps me to keep motivated to do YouTube videos. There is a super thanks button that you can smash anytime you want to. I also offer a channel membership that you can subscribe to and get all kinds of cool extra things. The link is in the description box below this video. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I will tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. To explain it. All right. Bottom of the deck, Princess of Swords, some communication, new perspective, two of wands in reverse, death, and the Queen of Pentacles. That'll make a hell of sense to you in a minute. Makes hell of sense to me right now. Woo-wee! First card out the box is the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. To the Prince of Swords. Alrighty. Some angry communication, maybe? <laughs> the Sun. Happiness, success, vitality, seeing clearly the Ten of Swords in reverse, renewal of a mindset. The Queen of Cups in reverse, hurt, broken heart, Two of Swords, a crossroads. The Ten of Wands in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. Wow. The Two of Pentacles in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups, Three of Swords in reverse, the Four of Pentacles, the Lovers in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel in Reverse, the Prince of Pentacles, the Two of Cups in Reverse, the Alchemist in Reverse, the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords in Reverse, and the Ten of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Six of Wands. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, we're going to take all those cards. All right, you guys. Let's make some sense out of all of this. Woo-wee. Let's see. So the King of Swords in reverse to the Devil in reverse and the Emperor. Okay. To the Prince of Swords. Is this... So what is the root, though, of the King of Swords in reverse? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? Like the Queen of Swords in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Why is it in the reverse? <laughs> I can't make this up. The King of Swords in reverse. Okay. All right, then. All right, Pisces. All right, Pisces. All right, all right. So this is a this is a reading about some foreshadowing. Okay, this is um, it's funny because I just did Taurus's reading as well, and it is about some foreshadowing, but it's a different story, so it's quite interesting. I must be just in the future forward mindset or something today, but this is a a foreshadowing of a situation that is about to materialize in your life. And it gives the details and the advice, okay? So, King of Swords starts the reading. Um, King of Swords in reverse is someone who is angry, argument, fight. Queen of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. You have had some kind of go round or odd or at, or are at odds with this person somehow, some way. This person that you have had some kind of of words with or holds some kind of trauma with somehow, some way. Okay, 
Your this person wants you to release your limiting beliefs about them. They want you to change the way that you think about them to the emperor, and they want you to hold them in a place of high regard or esteem somehow, some way. They want like it's like they want this title back with you. Um, this person also being the emperor on top of the king of swords in reverse is someone who projects themselves to the outside world to be very much in control and in charge, but in their mind, they are out of control of themselves. They're possibly mentally abusive, mentally manipulative, um, but either way, you've had a go-round with this person and they want to come back into your good graces and they want you to see them as the emperor. Prince of Swords, right? They are communicating with you. They want to forgive, forget, and restart something with you. But this person is still the King of Swords in reverse. No matter how how, what was said between the two of you or what kind of apologies were, were going on between the two of you, no matter what has happened between the two of you, this person who is perpetrating to be an emperor in control, has your best interest at heart kind of person is at the core, the king of swords in reverse. They are, um, lying. They lie they are, uh, they lack integrity. They're dishonest. They're abusive. They're very, very sharp tongued. And they're, they're coming at you with the, with the Prince of Swords right there. They're coming at you with the sun. They want happiness, success, and vitality in their lives with you. The sun for you is saying, see very, very clearly that 10 of Pentacles in reverse, you cannot build your foundation here at all in any way whatsoever. The path to happiness, success, and vitality for you, Pisces, is to see very clearly that this has zero foundation by which to build your future. Ten of Swords in reverse to the Page of Cups. This person wants to forgive and forget. They want to turn the Ten of Swords be an ending, painful endings, violent endings, endings from betrayal, deception, deceit. They want to turn the Ten of Swords upside down, shake it all out, shake it loose, and have a renewal of a mindset. And they're, they're, they're being sweet to you some way with the Page of Cups. You, Pisces, as the Queen of Cups in reverse right here, um, this is a, a, a flashback to a potential weak spot that you may have when it comes to this person. Um, perhaps somebody out there is emotionally codependent on this person's attention or approval to feel good about themselves. But more importantly, I see this as the past relationship with this person. In the past, I think that you were that emotionally codependent on this person. And that's why they seem to feel so puffy in the chest as the emperor, right? And I think that they treated you like shit, um, probably mentally abused you, treated you like shit, but when it was good, it was great. And that's where that emperor energy comes from. Um, and back then you needed their approval to feel good about yourself somehow. Okay. Seven of Wands comes on top of this and talks about defending yourself, protecting yourself, backing up from it, okay? And the Six of Pentacles in reverse talks about greed in the sense of well-being. And those two cards all go back to the emotional codependency, okay? The greed in the sense of well-being is putting up with whatever this person would give you in order to feel okay about some kind of something in your life, right? That's the old Pisces, okay? Because as we jump down here to the Two of Swords, this Two of Swords is Pisces at the crossroads of their life when this argument happened. And it's like, oh, hell no. Hell no. To the Ten of Wands in reverse. I'm dumping this burden. I'm dumping this struggle. 
I'm dumping the mental baggage associated with this relationship. I'm leaving this relationship out in the cold. I loved you. I sure as hell did love you. Page of Pentacles in reverse. But I can't grow what I need to grow with you. And that's just the way that it is. Perhaps this realization is what causes this argument with this person. Perhaps this is what you are going to say to your person that causes all of this to happen. Or it's already happened. But you're at odds with someone. They want you back. They want you to think they're the emperor again. And this particular Pisces has perhaps come to a realization of their emotional codependency and they are not engaging again. And the Queen of Swords in reverse in the center of the reading. This is this is this is the exchange. It's it's also angry, salty. It's about a card about being in denial as well. And I think that this particular Pisces was in denial some way. Look, I kid you not, to the Queen of Swords in the upright, but no more. No more. If you don't see this dynamics happening in this relationship, Pisces, perhaps this reading is for you to take a step back and see these dynamics happening. Or this is a Pisces who has already discovered this about themselves on their own and they're like, oh, hell no. Two of Pentacles, but this person coming to you, wanting to bury the hatchet, wanting to make nice with you, puts you off kilter. It puts you off kilter and it puts you off balance to the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. But you can overcome this. You will overcome this. The Nine of Pentacles is Pisces standing in their power. Self-sufficient, independent, doing great. Six of Wands, successful, overcoming the battle. What's the battle? It was recognizing this emotional codependent toxic cycle that goes on between the two of you right here and bringing an end to it and saying, oh no, absolutely not, not, no, no, to the eight of cups, walking away from it, understanding that it's not ever going to change. It's not ever going to get any better. It's not ever going to be anything other five of wands than conflict after conflict after conflict. To the three of swords in reverse and coming to terms with that in your mind. Coming to terms with the grief and the sorrow and the pain that removing yourself from this situation creates in your life. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Because if you keep doing what you've always done, you're just going to get what you've always gotten. Right? Recognize this emotional codependency. And if you're doing this right now, find your sense of self-worth. So you don't have to depend on the in-betweens to make you, to, to validate your, your existence. Uh-huh. To justice. This is what's good and right and proper. This is what's in your best interest. This is what, this is justice for your life. Four of Pentacles, pulling yourself together, maintaining your heart center, two feet on the ground, standing in your power, overcoming this battle, the sun, and seeing very, very clearly that the path to happiness, success, and vitality, lovers in reverse, and the nine of pentacles is for you to bring this relationship to an end once and for all, an absolute screeching halt, because this person is at their core, the king of swords in reverse, right? Ten of pentacles, your future, you're the foundation, the way that you want your life to be, the success of your life. Eight of Pentacles, keep doing what you're doing. Keep working towards it. Keep building. Keep owning yourself. Keep your sense of self-worth at the forefront of everything in life. Ten of Swords in reverse. And shake loose of a short end of the stick betrayal mentality. Because you might have got screwed over in this whole relationship somehow, some way, but that's okay. Because now you know, and now you won't make the same emotionally codependent mistake that you made in this relationship. And believe me, the only reason this person is with you is because you are emotionally codependent. You're very easy to manipulate. The wheel in reverse, hard stop. 
to the Two of Pentacles until you balance and prioritize yourself. Until you balance and prioritize yourself, get yourself straight, become the Queen of Swords, execute justice in your life, and leave this situation where it was. Because if you keep participating with it, with the Prince of Pentacles, keep participating in an unviable relationship, alchemist in reverse, where you're being manipulated, you don't have the power to manifest the life that you want. It's a waste of time. That Queen of Swords right there will tell you, this is a waste of my time. This is not a me issue. This is a you issue. That's what the Nine of Pentacles says. Twice. This is not a me issue. This is a you issue. I've recognized my wounded childhood emotional bullshit. I see how it's connecting me to you. And this suck is a you problem, not a me problem anymore. And that catapults you. Eight of Cups, right? You're walking away from something that you know needs to be walked away from. That's this whole situation. You walk straight into the Nine of Cups, man. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, satisfaction. The Eight of Pentacles again. Working, building, growing. The Ten of Cups. Beautiful life. Fulfillment. The Six of Pentacles. Giving, receiving, sharing in the prosperity of life with everyone. To the High Priestess. Because you followed your intuition. Because you did this self-examination that needed to happen for you to realize, I don't need this kind of bullshit in my life at all. Whether it's love, romance, work, family, friends, neighborhood, HOA, whatever it is. Whatever it is. You don't need this kind of bullshit in your life. The High Priestess says, listen, we'll show you, we'll lead you, we'll guide you. Every step of the way. Every step of the way. Keep healing. High Priestess is healing. Keep healing. Keep healing. Pisces, the card of Pisces. Six of Wands, overcome. Overcome the battles. Seven of Swords in reverse. Re release yourself from a futile mindset. What's that? The Three of Pentacles. That you can have teamwork and collaboration with the King of Wands in reverse. With an egocentric, self-centered person. Seven of Wands, defend yourself, protect yourself, get in the chariot and go. Three of Wands, have some foresight, see the forest through the trees. Hermit, let's have some soul searching and some introspection and we're going to guide you to your very next step. We're going to show you exactly what you need to do next because you have freed yourself from a binding situation that was keeping universal order at bay because they cannot and will not intervene in your free will. Let's talk about it. The star, we're going to point you towards your path and your purpose. Your whole life, Pisces, is about to just be incredible. And it's all because you put in the effort to realize and recognize an unhealthy attribute of your own and how it kept you in an unhealthy relationship, work or family or romance. The star says your path and your purpose, the tower, your path and your purpose happens after you step away from the tower. This whole shit show, the king of swords in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse, the whole shit show is this tower. <coughs> and when you stand up, step back, brush yourself off and say, oh, no, 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 absolutely not. That's when everything begins to flow in your direction. Because universal order is always trying to lead you and guide you and show you. But when you got your head down and you're dealing with your own stuff and your own woundedness and your own humanness, it just passes right over your head and keeps going. Bah, round and round and round and round. And the second you look up and connect with the frequency of it, zoop, you're sucked into universal order until you decide that you're going to take the reins back and duck your head again and get back into some low vibrational human bullshit. That's how it works. Ace of Pentacles. 
what's going to grow out of the rubble of this tower is a beautiful, prosperous new beginning for you, Pisces. A beautiful, prosperous new beginning. That's what's going to grow out of the rubble. Look, the Queen of Pentacles. Everything good in the, in the bank account, in the bills, in the gas tank. Everyone around you has everything they need. You have everything you need. Things are flowing. That's what your future looks like. Death. But you got to bring this phase of your life to an end so you can step through the threshold into the transformation and out on the other side in the new phase of your life. That is, that, that is just fabulous. It's fabulous. It's fabulous. Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspective. Get a new perspective. Uh-huh. What's the new perspective? The, nine, the Princess of Swords. This person's communication with you, Nine of Swords in reverse, is only going to be the same old painful lesson over and over and over again. If you forgive and forget and bury the hatchet, it's just going to keep repeating, and the cycle keeps repeating, and it's a gigantic, huge waste of time. And before you know it, you're dying with regrets. You don't want that, Pisces. You don't want that at all. So stand in your power, shut this down. And if you're already standing in your power, don't let this make you weak at the knees. You be strong, you push forward, and your future looks amazing. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.